To IT Mate Now, we're working to learn more about the lawsuit by an IMPD officer against the National Football League. It's a story that we first told you about yesterday here at 6 o'clock. DeJore Mercer, the IMPD officer in the shooting of Drajon Reed, is suing the NFL for including Reed among victims of police mis misconduct. IT Mate's Richard Essex is working this story. The complaint filed in federal court claims that the NFL used at least one video that was broadcast on television, along with posts on social media site, suggesting that Reed died as the result of police misconduct. But a grand jury declined to file charges against the IMPD officer, and an internal investigation found Officer Mercer followed IMPD policies. The complaint focuses on a series of tweets and a video that appeared on NFL social media sites that included a three-minute video that was broadcast on television. A picture of Reed in his Army uniform appears halfway through the video when the narrator says, a mission to go beyond their name, to dig deeper, to reveal who they really were and why they are no longer with us. A tweet posted on the NFL's Twitter page in December of last year has a picture of Reed. The tweet says Drejan is one of the many individuals being honored by players and coaches this season through the NFL Helmet Decal Program. The owner of the Colts, Jim Irsay, went on Twitter to dismiss the NFL's claim. Guy Relford is one of the lawyers representing Officer Mercer in the libel suit. You're being accused of police misconduct by a national organization with billions of dollars and a worldwide reach. And, the, and that campaign was unavoidable. You, you, you couldn't turn on the TV or get on social media without seeing it. Um, and it had a devastating effect on him. I team eight talked to Indiana University law professor Joe Tomain about the case, and Tomain says the case could have an uphill battle in proving the NFL intended to harm Officer Mercer. There are three major hurdles. First, whether there is actually a defamatory statement at all. Second, if there is a defamatory statement, if it's even a defamatory statement about Officer Mercer. And the third being, did the NFL intentionally go after Officer Mercer? I have asked IMPD and the Colts for a statement. Both said that they were not named in the suit and declined to comment on pending litigation. In Indianapolis, Richard Essex, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook. And again, we also have reached out to the NFL for comment, but have not received one from the league. Mercer's lawsuit claims the NFL's actions will cost him millions of dollars in damages and losses.